Good day folks, welcome back to another time video. Got a uh, simple little scud pattern for you here. Um, nothing fancy, I try to keep my scuds as simple as possible. Um, and uh, this is about as easy as they get. So we'll go ahead and get started. Got a size 10 scud hook, tie this from a 10 down to a 16. And I've got some blue done tying thread, any uh, gray, Tying thread would definitely do for this pattern. <clears throat> I'm just going to dress the hook, trim out my tag, and grab some. Uh, this is a silver small size ultra wire. I'll just get that tied in, run it down the length of the shank. I'm going to go fairly deep into the bend with scud patterns. Um, and I'm just going to grab some scud back. This is kind of a dark gray color. <clears throat> Anything dark gray like this will work. Actually, anti-static bag will work with this as well. So a couple options there. So we're going to get this tied in down here at the bottom. Make sure it's somewhat centered down there. That looks pretty good actually. And then grab a hold of some dubbing. I've got some ice dub, but uh, tie these with super bright dubbing. Um, typically I like a little bit of flash in my scuds. I fish them a lot in the fall. And uh, the fall seems to be when, for us anyways, that. A little bit of extra flash seems to go a long ways. So we're just gonna start dubbing this and work a little bit of a taper from slim to a little chunkier in the center and then slim it out a little bit um, towards the front. Working for us here. A little chunkier in the middle. Mm -hmm. and last little noodle here should take us the rest of the way. Not quite. Okay, like I said before, if you're with dubbing, little bits at a time tend to make it easier to work with. <clears throat> that looks pretty good there. Just pull that back. Leave a little room up top here to tie off. <clears throat> And now I'm just going to grab that scud back, pull it right over the top, and grab a hold of it. Throw a few nice tight wraps on that. And I'm actually going to just come in and throw a couple turns of a whip finish in there. Again, with stretchy material, especially up near the head. You don't want to accidentally bump your... Uh, bobbin or anything and have them come loose so now I'm just going to tug on that give it a snip it'll uh, suck right back in so your eyes nice and clean and then we'll just take this wire and just look to segment the body first ones can be a bit of a pain sometimes because you get that slippery scud back but once you get it to bite in it's usually not too bad Oh, I got go here. There we go. And then when I do these wire wraps, I pull down fairly snug and it kind of creates really nice segmentation if you dig into that scud back a little bit. 
<clears throat> so tie off our wire and just twist it out of there. Come in here, a few turns, all we need. Trim that out. Now sometimes when you're wrapping your wire, your scud back will wanna turn on you a little bit. You can just kind of grab it and maneuver the fly. So there you have it. Now we'll come in with a dubbing brush and just fairly aggressive. Tug on those uh, dubbing fibers and pull those down. It's gonna give us our legs and come in and just trim out any that are too long. But there you have it. Super slick little scud. About as easy as they get, but with those things, you don't have to get much fancier than that. That'll catch you a lot of fish. Um, there it is. Thanks very much for watching. Give us a thumbs up if you liked it. Subscribe if you haven't. And until the next one, cheers and tight lines.